This is the time that coronavirus has taken over the planet. We are somewhere in the middle of South Africa in the Free State, about four hours out of Johannesburg. The view is amazing. We're on Thomas Linder's permaculture farm, waiting out the quarantine time because we thought that staying in Joburg was all the ghettos around us, literally within three kilometers range, is not safe. So we, Zoe and I made a call to come out and we literally are having the best times of our lives. We make, we, for the first time sitting in front of the fire every, every evening, cooking on the fire. We've got a solar cooker there and uh, we're really bonding. We're seeing how simple can we live? What can we, what do we need to do to make things, you know, work with what we have? And it's a great test, I'd say, for any relationship. So if you are wanting to test your couple out <laughs> for strength and 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 to strengthen together, go out and live a simple life in nature. It's a virus to take your crown away because everybody's crown is being taken away. All the cool guys and look at me and everybody is just everybody's just shattering is like here it is. What matters? And what matters is family, relationships, water, food, and a roof over your head. All the funk, all the cool funk has disappeared and uh, what's left is the essence of a true joyful life and it obviously starts with sustainability and the joy comes with sharing the sustainability with your loved one <laughs> Because we're getting very cold at night. A soft sheet to make up uh, pants. And then you've got the um, resinka. And we're going to take the elastic from another sheet. And tonight I'm going to be sleeping in warm cotton pants, pajama pants. Yay! This is our wash up station, that's our tea station, <laughs> this is our warming up station, and we'll be showing you some shots around of the place. Um, and there's our dog. We made a little hut because it's drizzling. Dog station. <laughs> a dog station. Sani moves along from station to station. <laughs> yes, Sani. about the rocket stove is that I just grabbed that bush 
like that. So uh -huh. I grab some sticks and uh, that's all the firewood we need to make a meal. Um, started really simple with... St I started to find five seconds with just this stuff and some paper and here it's already boiling. Nice little curry starting to cook. So you don't need big wood. <laughs> Anywhere you go you find these little sticks, dead wood. Oh Nimo is swimming! Oh, Nimushka! <laughs> Nimushka! Lapushka ты моя! Ну вот захотелось! Видишь, так рано, так холодно, ну вот захотелось ей. The economies of the resource is phenomenal because up until we pulled this thing out from the garage we were burning massive logs, massive thick logs this size just so we could Насколько мы много тогда дерева таскали, да, для простого костра? As you can see, logs we were carrying, that was one day's worth of firewood. Мы непрерывно жгли, да, сухую древесину. Now, now we, because you need to keep the coals if you want to have a meal in two hours time, you don't want to be warming up the fire again. Now this, you roast it up and then when you finished, it just dies by itself, it's super safe and when you need to do it again, you roast up some sticks. It really works well with small sticks. Yesterday we were trying to split wood and it, Zoya still took like half an hour to fire this thing up. Small sticks from nature. Just feed it. They burn pretty quick, so you just sit next to it and, you know, enjoy the morning with your wife. It was minus five probably this morning because there was ice on top of our outside compost toilet. So we decided that we're not going to sit at home with hot water bottles. We're going to take a walk and enjoy the sun and make some fire and bring your food to nature. Three-week quarantine retreat in the mountains. The city is still under lockdown, but with a special letter, we're able to get in. We spent some lovely time with our friends Thomas and Michelle at their permaculture farm, uh, and it was quite an experience. We uh, saw in cushions. She made a dog cushion, and I just read permaculture books and swam and slept and <laughs> relaxed in nature which is what I really wanted to do for many many years so I'm designing our bus our 4x4 bus it's the 1972 model a 50 year old bus but it's fully 4x4 so I've got the the floor plan of the bus which was this counter and our creative zone and our sleeping zone but it's not going to make much sense to you but basically all the bedding we're planning to have our children come along with us on the journey um, play, planning maybe a possible graphic idea or some painting ideas that we could do on the outside keeping with this <laughs> alien vibe a little stretch tent that will create an awning, um, a waterproof awning and rainwater collection over the bus. And of course I've got my ideas for the trailer, which are going to, which is, you know, something I'll be showing in the future, but basically um, a trailer where we could have a, you know, whole water units and um, uh, drinking water, gre kitchen water, wetlands for shower, so full 
botanical cell with fish growing. So that will be dragging behind the bus. Comforts of civilization. Um, we realized coming back to the city how how it's all integrated, how we actually do need our hot water and uh, at times even that gas button. But still, the just being able to heat food, cook, uh, heat hot water for washing up, that just takes hours and hours on end. And whilst it's a beautiful lifestyle and nature, there are some parts of civilization which we do need and of course having a warm house that keeps a comfortable temperature is crucial. Um, a lot of houses in Australia and South Africa are built you know, for the summer season and then in winter everybody just freezes because there's no insulation, the floor is cold um, and just have, being able to have that shower last night was oh, so amazing. And that's one of the things we missed, a really nice hot shower and beauty, beautiful, beautiful, having a, just a little beautiful bath, it's so important, the beauty is so important for our eyes. Whilst we have amazing beauty in nature, the beauty inside the home or inside your bathroom or inside your little bedroom uh, is so important and uh, Zoya <laughs> did the insulation with cardboard boxes just to preserve the heat that we have accumulated during the day with the sun and our bodies you know and uh, even the cardboard was beautiful but the comforts of civilization show us that if we just get one or two things right like hot water uh, and like warmth that it makes all the difference uh, living in nature and if you obviously have too hot then you need to have the place cool down uh, but comfortable temperature, may, may I say. If we just get those two things right, it makes a massive difference of just actually enjoying yourself in nature. Um, because with cold water, you're not able to you know, clean yourself properly and eventually the skin becomes like rough. So you go through, like I'll, I'll put my feet through pants and then my heels are so dry and flaky that it gets stuck on the fabric I and mean, I don't know if you know that feeling but um, so I'm starting to steam my feet in hot water soak them in hot water and then with that little scrubber just scrub them and yes the dynamic of the city is also important there's a different energy here um, and whilst Zoe was staying in um, in her little hut close to St. Petersburg on the land she would go once a week and visit the city to get that dynamism dynamic energy to see other people it's, it's 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 very strange but we do charge up or to have that constructive chaos where you the energy sh shakes up a bit and then boom after a day in the city you come back to your place on the land and ah. and what the biggest realization for me was that after three weeks of being on the land there were many factors that we needed to move and then now we arrived back at the house it's two weeks before the quarantine opens up uh, we're basically you know selling everything and uh, getting the house ready to hand over to the bank and this is another thing of this holding on um, and we wrote a beautiful lesson in our consciousness integration course um, that, that when you let go the new th opportunities the new energies starts flowing in and imagine how difficult it is for me to just hand the keys to this house that I've been building for 12 years on the bank's land and that's key problem you know but 12 years of all these domes everything that I've built uh, I mean our entire Bivetta course is recorded here just to say to the bank yeah after 12 years of work and $150,000 on, on R&D and everything I've put in here and build, you know, was a lot of money just to say, here, I can't sell it, take it. And it's been multiple, multiple processes and Zoe and I have been doing and she's been assisting me for me just to get my head around, uh, wrap, you know, give, giving the keys to the bank because we arrived just six months ago in October 2019 
to renovate, which we have been to freshen up, to clean up, to uh, make the place nice because it was in an atrocious state. And that's what we've been doing. So for the last six months, we've been investing more time and energy and money to renovate the place up so we could sell it and boom, quarantine, uh, COVID-19 and club. We put into a situation like a wartime where you know things are not selling or moving. But letting go and us as people letting go of holding on to one house, holding on to one land. And that's another thing, you know, coming from that Anastasia background that we need to have that one land that we really, you know, stay at and you know I'm realizing that we're liquid beings, to, you know, with multiple skills. And travel is part of our thing, and that's why the travel was, you know, people like to travel. So, the latest is we're going to Russia. As you know, we're finally getting there as soon as the borders open. And um, getting a bus. Just gonna get um, a 50 year old bus that we're gonna renovate, that will allow us to travel around Russia. Because believe it or not, you can find land for $100, a whole hectare of land. Um, land is abundant in Russia, and please do consider learning the language. It's the most beautiful language. And relocating to Russia, because once you know Russian, by knowing Russian, you can get Russian citizenship. Um, you know, our law allows that, just by that mere fact that you have learned the language. And our role with Zoe will be somewhat to also help and assist people, you know, as we get um, time and uh, in future to, to assist people to ground themselves in Russia, folk that want to, um, you know, live on the land. We'll be obviously writing a lot of videos, it won't be an individual consultation, but it will be questions that will be piled together and a video will be recorded about that so people can start relocating to Russia because the main thing is having land. But most importantly, you can even enjoy your life without having land. Uh, you could be growing fruit trees all over the place. And as you share these fruit trees and you plant, plant, just sharing a little bit with you. So our consciousness integration course, which is busy being recorded as we speak, will assist you to psychologically prepare yourself with your heart and your head for the land by dropping all the old programs which are making us stuck, getting stuck in the cities. So there's a reason why people are so stuck in the cities and they cannot get out. And uh, we'll tackle exactly that of what you need to do to be able to work with your head and heart, to drop old programs so you can drop anxiety and you can move on to the land and live simply, which up until now with old programs, you're not, you'll never allow yourself to live simply, never. Um, because our old programs share tell us that we need to compete, we need to prove something, we need to show how big this house, uh, you know, how my house or how nice my new cars or whatever. So, and then of course we're going to be working on our whole new self-sufficiency training, which is going to cover from how to sew underpants to how to build a house. So I just wanted to give you uh, a heads up and I wanted to show you my beard after three weeks of quarantine before I go and shave it. <laughs> so I'm a bit all grown up here and um, so Zoe and I wish you to have a fantastic day. Do some research in this quarantine time on um, eco methods of uh, sustainability. Um, busy watching a channel of Advokat Yegorov. Maybe just Google him, find him on YouTube and I'll, I'll share the link below. 
wow, um, low tech with your hands, but to be able to, but he's a lawyer, so he still goes back to the city and does lawyer thing, you know, whilst he's such a genius inventor. Um, so this is what we mean by having old programs, which unfortunately keep us stuck in the cities. But at the same time, remember that dynamism, dynamic uh, life is important to not hold on, to move to the new place, to be able to share the experiences. Um, it is part of who we are. Getting stuck and living on one land for 70 years, as much as that sounds like a great idea, no, no, it's not the way to go. Just, show, just being able to move from the farm to this house, we're so excited, oh, you know new footage, new sharing, new realizations, and then you go into a new scenario. And that's why the bus or camper is so great, because you take your comfortable home, your warmth, your tools and everything you need with you. Um, <clears throat> so our bus will be able to carry um, a little craftsman studio and possibly a ceramic studio with it that we can go. And then when we arrive finally on the land, when we do find our land, we can grow from that bus outwards. So that's the thinking. I'll be sharing some sketches with you of the bus. It's all, of course, with the curvilinear style that I have replicated on this land, all the curves. So it's all going to be there in the bus. No straight lines as usual. <laughs> Gaudi stated there are no straight lines in nature. And um, I believe that. I know that. It's, um, it's the way to go. Fluid and liquid. So stay fluid and liquid like nature is. By the way, <laughs> the river here in Johannesburg is still stinking. They're still dumping sewage. This is now, and there are many, many letters. So it just shows you the system is stuffed. And this coronavirus is just a little teaser of what's going to happen with... Um, the next virus is going to come, or, the, or five, five viruses later, and it's going to have a 30-40% death rate. Um, so the system is very fragile. The system is suffering, the system is, the ecosystems are suffering and the system that matrix that keeps us or we keep ourselves in it because of our programs is very, very fragile and it's not a place, it's not a safe space to, to stay. Um, so really getting in my head of living without money, but it starts with, you know, it starts with your inner, inner, inner work, believe it or not. Uh, we're living without money will never work if we haven't done the inner work of deprogramming ourselves and of course sign up to our reboot from the root webinar again the link is below and uh, just check out that webinar of what we mean and of course we've got the training that's uh, already three one hour sessions uploaded so you can start watching there's going to be many many more videos video lessons coming up there but um they'll assist you in in thriving in the new reality that's already here you make the new reality <laughs> we are we are the creators